Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Swarty and Harry Takeover. I'm here with Scott Jackson, of course, Harry Brown. You can't say his first name without saying his last name. Uh, we're here at Stonetown Barber, and uh, Scott is going to tell us what he's going to do to Harry today. Well, today we're going to do a traditional straight razor shave on Harry's head, as well as edging up his, his beard, lining everything up nice. And we're, I'm going to start just by knocking all the hair off. Uh, it just makes it a little bit easier for the shave. So this is what we're going to do. Scott, what kind of services do you provide here? Uh, well, I'm a traditional barber, so we provide all the uh, traditional treatments that, I'm, that a barber shop from uh, the early days would offer. So we do uh, all your mainstream haircuts from traditional men's cuts, which are just basically a trend. Coming, coming in, leaving looking the same way with just slightly shorter hair. We also do skin fades. Uh, that's where we create uh, a skin line. So one finger would be a, a low fade, two fingers a medium fade, three, three fingers a high fade. And then we blend that up to the top of the hair, uh, making it seamless with their lines. Uh, if anyone's seen the movie Fury, uh, Brad Pitt had a high skin fade in that movie, or medium skin fade, I guess. Uh, we also do tapers. Tapers are the basis of most haircuts. That's where we taper the sides and back and blend into the haircut. We also do uh, traditional straight razor head and face shaves, which I went into a little bit of detail about what we're going to do to Harry today. Um, aside from that, uh, the barbershop here doesn't uh, discriminate between children. We cut children's hair, we cut adults' hair. I, I'll even cut women's hair. Now, do you do wedding parties or? Uh, we do like actually. We've started doing the groomsman package, which is usually on Fridays or Saturdays. And what we do is we provide services for the groom and the groomsman, which include everything that we discussed there, uh, right down to the shave. I shut the shop down, so it's a private party. Uh, so far, the community has been good about it. I think uh, we need a second barber here in order to really uh, focus on that. All right, so this is the first step of the shave. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna apply a nice hot lather to Harry's head. That should feel decent. Yeah. Just picture Harry has a full head of hair under here. He's just come out of the shower. I don't wanna picture that. No, there'll be no picturing of that. So we're actually gonna let that sit for a few minutes. How does it feel, Harry? It's very warm. Perfect. That's what we're going for. Now, is there a significance to the barbershop pole that you have in your window here? Well, I learned in school that the barber pole uh, does have a significance to the to the industry. It was uh, in early days, barbers were not only barbers, but they performed minor minor dental procedures as well as minor surgeries. So one of the things involved with barbering was something called bloodletting. So back in the day, when someone had an infection or someone was sick, they attributed it to problems with blood. So what they would do is they would uh, bloodlet as much as they possibly could with the idea that when the body regenerated the blood, it would be fresh and clean and disease-free or you know, um, infection-free. So the colors, uh, the red denotes blood from the bloodletting, the white denotes um, fresh bandages, and the blue denotes veins, and the cup on the top and bottom were bloodletting cups, so that's where they capture all the blood. So that's where the history of that came about. So it's not just a USA okay thing? No, and that's funny because a lot of people, you know, associate it with the United States, and it's not, it's not that at all. We're not doing any bloodletting today. No, no. Well, we're, we're going to try not. We're going to try not to do any bloodletting. That would be perfect. So we've just finished up the shave on Harry's head. He's going to survive, I think. We managed to uh, manage to get all the hair <laughs> off and keep most of the skin. So, pardon me, that's good. Harry, how do you feel? This towel is really hot. Yeah, you like it? <laughs> you like it? It feels nice, yeah. yeah. It'll cool off. <laughs> I'm going to let this sit for a minute or two. Now, 
Scott, what are your hours of operation, and do you take walk-ins, or is it mostly equipment-based for your business? It's mostly walk-ins. We're open Tuesday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Um, I take appointments from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. So how long have you been doing this for? Uh, I started school in 2006, um, or sorry, 2016. I went to the All-American Barber Academy in uh, Glendale, Arizona. It's, it was by far probably the best choice I ever made. I had amazing instructors um, that taught me everything right down from a regular gentleman's shave, or a regular gentleman's cut right down the straight razor shave. Uh, 1,500 hours were required, so I was there for the full year. Looks like you got a bit of blood on the front of the skull. Right there. Oh, yeah. Just massage that right in. Yeah, there we go. Back into the skin you go. Yeah. <laughs> We're all right. So this is going to stink. Are you ready? Wait, I thought, no. This is the, this is the, this is the Home Alone version of it, okay? Ah! That really does stink. I know. It will. It will. It's a good stink. It's a good burn. It's a good burn. Okay, oh, yeah. it's over now. Yeah. It only takes five seconds. It's a good burn. Yeah. It's a good burn. <laughs> it's over now. It's over now. So, how you, were you drinking beer before this? I was. <laughs> I can tell. I can tell. <laughs> this is bleeding a lot. <laughs> it's just a spot. It's just a dribble. But that's what happens, Harry. <laughs> we should have discussed this pre, pre shave. All right, let's get on to that beard. Look up for me again. So this is a, what's called a foil razor, foil shaver. Every man that has a beard that doesn't want a neck beard should own one of these. If you use it literally three minutes a day, it will only take stubble, so I can run it right over the beard. Oh wow! And it's not going to take the it's not going to take the beard with it. It only takes stubble, and it's good for sensitive skin. So I'm not sure. I don't know you well enough, Terry, but you might be sensitive. <laughs> and if that's the case, well, I want to make sure that you don't. Uh... Harry enjoys crying into a bottle of wine. Oh, yeah. delicious! <laughs> don't, don't we all? All right. Well, thank you very much, Scott, for You're having us on. Uh, well, Thanks for coming in, guys. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, you can find Scott. What's your address here? 178 Queen Street East. I'm directly across from the Town Hall in St. Mary's. If you look at the steps, turn to your left. At the corner of Church and Queen, right across from the Town Hall. You can find us on YouTube, hashtag St. Mary's Famous. And you're looking for uh, Swordy and Harry Takeover. And thank you very much for having us in. Awesome. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Uh, I got to work on those closing <laughs> remarks.